this is going on. And today we're going to be talking about designers. Like, this is not hating on any designers or anything. But basically, some of them charge way too much, like, thumbnails and stuff. And I've really only paid, like, a lot for, like, maybe a, a, a thumbnail template or something. Or, like, a graphics pack, maybe. Then, yeah, sure. But, like, something like a header or profile picture that you may get replaced by somebody else. Like, the, uh, the, the real people that are good designers, in my opinion, are people that do it for free or do giveaways. Like, Rar the monster, his, I'll put his ad on the screen. And shout out to him, like, I bought one of his headers and won a giveaway for one of them. And his headers were about $10, which, I mean, when, at the time I bought it, I think he got a profile picture. Like, where the header was a profile picture in the header. And that's, like, the most I'm ever going to pay for a header, probably, because I don't really want, like, to buy one that much. But if I ever bought something, it would probably be, like, a template or something, like a thumbnail template or, like, something like that. Like, a graphics pack. Or a, like, custom logo or something like that. Or, like, the MLG, like, mascot logos. Those things look sick. Like, I wish I could have one of those sometime. But, yeah, like, some people just charge too much. And there's one person that did, like, a thing where every person that retweets this gets a, um, header. And I got it. And I asked them to change something. Like, I, it was, it said, hey, it's darkness. So, like, I was like, can you put it, direct, or can you put it to darkness? Because I don't want to have haze in it so I can use it all the time. He's like, oh, it's gonna cost you fifteen dollars. Like, if you just tell me the font, I can legit change it. Like, why? Why are you making me go through all this trouble? It's like I'm not paying you this much for the legit like five letters taken out of it. Like seriously, like I'm not paying you that. And then there's other people like I don't know. Like sometimes I try and like buy stuff with like Steam money because I don't have any money like on like. like I'm like, I don't have PayPal or anything, because, like, I'm not old enough, technically, to have it. And, basically, some people are like, no, no, I don't want that. Or, like, because I try and, like, do something else to, like, give you something. Like, maybe an H1Z1 skin or something like that. Like, that's what I try and do, because I don't have, like, any money. Like, I mean, I don't have, like, a PayPal or anything to, like, actually send them the money. But, and, you know, it's just kind of hard for, like, people my age to, like, buy stuff. And sometimes, like, if you're good friends with somebody, you expect them to be, like, maybe give you a discount or something. And then they don't. And there's a guy I saw that was, like, really good at making, like, comic-looking people. And I asked him to make me one, like, make me one that looked like me. And I asked him, like, I, I took a, a screenshot from one of my YouTube videos from a while back of, like, my face and everything. So I was too lazy to, like, drop, like get ready and everything for a pic like take a picture because I'm not the type of selfie person but basically I was like just edit out the arm because I was like holding something up and he just, just puts it right in and it literally looks like it's made in paint like I'm not gonna put it on the screen because I don't even know where I put it like I probably threw it in the trash like 10 times like the recycle bin on my computer but honestly it wasn't that good and his profile picture was a lot better like some people get other designers to make them like uh, banners and stuff which I was like, that's kind of stupid because you're promoting somebody else's work even though you're a designer. Like, no hate to them, but seriously, like, it just doesn't really make sense to me. But there's a lot of good designers out there that I know that are f relatively cheap or free. Like, there's Maniac, he's pretty good at them. Uh, Hexro, Zero, which are all in Rush. Flight, here, he's good too. There's so many other designers too, like Rar. His designs are cool. He, I'm really, I really like when he does his giveaways because it gets people that can't afford them to be able to have one, or people that don't like don't want to buy one to be able to have one. Like it's pretty cool, and like that's that's the problem. Like sometimes you ask people to make you one for like free or something, and it takes them a long time. Like that one I told you about that looks like it was in paint or something. Literally took the guy like six months, and I'm sure he just waited until like the last. 10 minutes to send it to me, like, after I'd email him back, like, 20 times to see what the status was on it, because he's like, oh, yeah, next weekend, three weeks later, oh, here you go. I was like, oh, my God. And if you're going to take six months or something like that, actually make something that looks half decent, I'd say. Like, I don't know. This makes no sense to me, but, like, there's definitely some people that are coming up as designers. Like, I'm number one hex row. I'm just gonna call it that because I don't know how to pronounce his name. Like I remember when he was coming up, and I remember when he was designing for Hayes, like when I was in Hayes and stuff, and I was trying to sort of get him in. I can't remember. Like that was when I just met him, but yeah. 
there's a lot of good designers out there. Just some people charge way too much for stuff. And some people, like, I don't know, they just don't make, like, designs for people, like, for a relatively good price. Like, they'll maybe give one to their friend for free, but, like, charge, like, 30 bucks for one banner. Like, it makes no sense to me. But there's also other people, like, I know Hexro had this problem. Or, like, people say, like, he uses templates and stuff like that. Like, that happens with a lot of designers. Like, they get into, like, big teams like Doom or something like that. Or some type of team. And people notice a designer and they're like, Oh, let's see how we can bring down this guy's self-esteem or something like that. Like, it's kind of annoying. Like, I, I wouldn't want to be a designer because that always happens. Like, I've seen it happen a lot before. And they just, like, just say, That's my design. Don't take that or something like that. And I was like, maybe they got the idea of that person, but they didn't completely copy it. Like, you, they didn't copy and paste their head or into their own or something like that. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And once again, I'm not hating on any of these designers or any people that are like this. But yeah, see you guys later. Peace out.